Sydney Sweeney American Actress Sydney Sweeney is an American actress. She first gained attention in 2018 for appearing in the television series Everything Sucks and The Handmaid's Tale and in the limited series Sharp Objects. In the following year, she was featured in the Quentin Tarantino-directed film Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Born, September 12, 1997, age 27 years, Spokane, Washington, United States. Height, 1.61 meters Upcoming movie, Street Fighter. Siblings, Trent Sweeney. Sydney Sweeney, born September 12, 1997, is an American actress best known for her roles as Haley Karen on In the Vault, 2017, and Emmeline Adario on the Netflix series Everything Sucks. 2018, Sweeney is set to star in recurring roles in the HBO miniseries Sharp Objects, 2018, starring Amy Adams and the Hulu series The Handmaid's Tale, 2017, with Elizabeth Moss. Sweeney has guest starred in TV shows such as Pretty Little Liars, 2010, Criminal Minds, 2005, Grey's Anatomy, 2005, 90210, 2008, and the series in the Vault, 2017, as Haley Karen. Sweeney most recently starred as Emmeline Adario on the Netflix series Everything Sucks. 2018, which revolved around two groups of students in high school in 1996 in Oregon. Sweeney is set to star in the second season of the Hulu original series The Handmaid's Tale, 2017, as Eden, a pious and obedient girl, as well as Alice in the upcoming HBO miniseries Sharp Objects, 2018, starring Amy Adams. She will also star in the upcoming psychological thriller Clementine, 2019, and the alongside Andrew Garfield in the thriller Under the Silver Lake, 2018. Sweeney also starred in the horror film Along Came the Devil, 2018. Family Relatives Trent Sweeney, sibling Robert Vaughn, cousin Trivia She is trained in mixed martial arts. Founded the production company 5050 Films. She has a younger brother, Trent Sweeney, who also worked as an actor. She is a vintage car enthusiast. Meow Meow Ambassador Quotes Nudity on Euphoria, 2019, I was timid at first, because I've never done anything like that before. The thing about the nudity in this show is that it's not glamorized. It's not, oh, here's a pair of tits. It's just real. People's perception of actors who perform nude, they think, oh, she gets naked on screen, she's a sex symbol. And I can't get past that. I have no problems with those scenes, and I won't stop doing them, but I wish there was an easier way to have an open conversation about what we're assuming about actors in the industry. They don't pay actors like they used to, and with streamers, you no longer get residuals. The established stars still get paid, but I have to give 5% to my lawyer, 10% to my agents, 3% or something like that to my business manager. I have to pay my publicist every month, and that's more than my mortgage. On the New York Times dubbing her the scariest girl on TV, I love it. It's definitely not a title I thought I would ever receive, but I'll take it. About the stigma around stripping off on TV, when a guy has a sex scene or shows his body, he still wins awards and gets praise. But the moment a girl does it, it's completely different. The biggest misconception about me is that I'm a dumb blonde with big T asterisk TS. On nude scenes double standards, there are hour-long compilations of world-famous male actors with nude scenes who win Oscars and get praised for that work, but the moment a woman does it, it degrades them. They're not actresses. They just take off their tops so they can get a role. I had boobs before other girls, and I felt ostracized for it. On Nepo Babies, I had no idea getting into this industry how many people have connections. I started from ground zero and I know how f asterisk 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 ing hard it is. Now I see how someone can just walk in a door, and I'm like, I worked my f asterisk 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 ing ass off for 10 years for this. I'm very proud of my work in Euphoria. I thought it was a great performance. But no one talks about it, because I got naked. 
I do the White Lotus and all of a sudden, critics are paying attention. In response to criticism of her nude scenes, I think it's ridiculous. I'm an artist, I play characters. It makes me want to play characters that p asterisk asterisk guess people off more. Making horror films, being in the horror genre is fun, because in that genre, there's no limitations or boundaries. I always find it so funny when people pick apart a horror film's rules, or its storytelling. I'm like, it's a horror film. You're just having fun. It's not a movie for the Oscars, you know that going into it. We want to create something good, but it's fun having characters that can go to such extreme, absurd places, and people don't question it. On Madam Web, 2024, to me, that film was a building block. It's what allowed me to build a relationship with Sony. Without doing Madam Web, I wouldn't have a relationship with the decision makers over there. Everything in my career, I do not just for that story, but strategic business decisions. Because I did that, I was able to sell anyone but you, 2023. I was able to get Barbarella. Salaries. The housemaid, undefined, $7,500,000. Immaculate, 2024. $250,000. Madam Web, 2024, $750,000. Anyone but you, 2023, $2,250,000. <laughs>